is the defending champion of this event. Sure. He's not a, he's not a live again live event guy. And so um what, what's interesting is like he's he's not a live event guy, but he's also honestly he's not that good of a live I mean compared to his skill, he's not that accomplished of a live event player. Other than like he had a crazy run. Remember when he he won like, the forty rounds in a row or something stupid. Remember when he owned Chicago? Well, Just, I remember yeah. when he owned yeah, 2011 or whatever it was. Hey, it was like he won like 40 straight hey, hey, matches or something stupid. Hey, hey, hey. But other than that, he has not been very, very accomplished. A double N E N. A double N E N. Uh, they're on uh, uh, Sand Hill. Uh, Sand Hill. Gonna, they're on Sand Hill. Sand Hill? Yep. Is it Sand Hill? <sighs> All right. So, tie ball game? Question mark? Oh, nope. Right, right. Landon must have shushed in. At a bite. Whoa. All right, so uh, this is, they played we were, the same course earlier. Kevin, what's that? I have to get Kevin on the poncho. So whoever you, whoever. Oh, that was fun. It's hard. It's hard. Where's he at? He's probably going. Oh, he's right there. He's getting you guys here. So, All right. you got a so, Kevin's going to hop in in just a second, but uh, for the next couple minutes, uh, I'm gonna, uh, we're, we'll talk about this, and then it's going to be uh, Kevin and Adrian to close us out, I think, and uh, so it looks like Landon hold out or chipped in on hole, hole one oh, to get the advantage, so uh, Landon's up one, advantage so Landon. This is about the... Probably the 80th time he's played this course today because <laughs> yeah. every match he's had seems like it's been here. He's smiling like it's been every match. He's like, yeah, it has. Yeah. If I know anything about Luna, he's going to chase some whole lots here. Oh, yeah. So, uh, nope. Landon's up one. Chipped in on one. He might have just. He's a shitty chipper too. He probably just. Yeah. All right, so we've got the uh, four wood. Looks like just a bite, and if it happens to trickle in, so be it. But you're not gonna lose a stroke, kind of shot from Landon. And I mean, even Luna's not gonna chase this. I mean, this is this is a tough one to chase. You're just trying to get it close, and if it happens to trickle in, so be it. What kind of shot. Well, Luna's trying it away. Hi, that is surprising, and why he's a better reporter than I am, apparently. He's a more consistent player than you. Uh, consistent, accomplished, better. How far do we have to go? All right, that's the last time I ever try and help you again. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I appreciate you trying, Wes, but... Oh, that's going to be a miracle. Yeah. 266. So this is, this, is, this, is, this is like borderline 8-wood, but it's probably not. So I'd probably back it all the way back right with a 6-wood. Depending six on what balls are playing, you're speaking for... I'm, I'm a streaker. You're speaking for streaks. So Paul's, Paul plotted through the trees, which again, is a shot that I suck at. But, uh... That's the main uh, chip. I didn't see the... Is it it's straight trade? Yeah. Oh. All right. Top ball game? Maybe top ball game. Yeah. He missed. Uh, Paul missed a couple of putts against me, actually, but he ended up winning. 
All right. And so uh, after this hole, because this is a very important hole, I'm going to pass it over to Kevin Lindsay, and he's going to close us out. So uh, thanks, everybody, for listening. And uh, looks like... Hold on. Jeff is going to... Yep. Eagle, eagle. All right. Here comes Kevin. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Just kicking happened. people out like I'm really important. I blame uh, Richard King. I, Wes? I blame him for everything. I, 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 I do too. Uh, shout out to Tony Johnson and of course uh, my partner here, Wes. Good job as always. I listened to a few seconds of it. A few seconds. A few seconds. Small sample. Small sample. The sound was great. So uh, did Jeff, uh, Jeff got wet on that one? Or did you no, just miss he, his? He went long. Oh, okay. On five, you know. And then Luna was long, but he held the back of the green, and he made his putt. Yeah, Jeff I saw Luna. Luna had a really nice putt, a long putt. Yeah, Jeff just missed his chip. Okay. Now, was it... I'm trying to remember. Was, did they play Sand Hill in their, their game before? Yes, they did. Okay, that's what I thought. There's been so much golden tea going on, it's like... And that was... When Tony was here with me, I was saying this is probably Jeff's 80th game on Sand Hill today. Because every match I've seen, he's been playing Sand Hill. Really? We played, him and I played Sand Hill first thing today. <laughs> Our so match. he's either really tired of it or he's really warmed up for it. And knowing Jeff, he's most likely. You know, I don't know. As a. When you get to this level, I, I personally would want to spin this course. Yeah, Every I could, yeah, I can see it. Now, have you guys talked about um, Jeff? His, you know, in tournaments. Yes. Okay. I was saying we did, touched on it. Yeah, because I remember we well we talked about it earlier about uh, you know he doesn't go to him as often, uh, but still you know forced to be reckoned with. A sleeper, I, no, I wouldn't call him a sleeper, but you know, for no. somebody who doesn't, he makes to maybe one or two tournaments a year. He doesn't make it. I mean, he'll come here and he goes to the world. Right. But he used to go back in the day. And, oh, yeah. Jeff is definitely. And he still knows how to play this game. Oh, absolutely. Obviously. I mean, Jeff, Jeff plays, uh, you know, what, a thousand games a month still, you know, if not more. Wow. Luna with the ultra, ultra shot. <laughs> Even Luna was like, wow. He tied it back up. <laughs> the ultra shot. Oh man. Man. The thing about the big line will be right outside the hall entrance. Please only go to the line if you pay for food. Also, we are offering some sides out there. It is not meant to completely fill you up with the side, so please don't take heaping piles. We need to make sure that everybody gets to the line and gets the portion out. All right. Kevin, the thing I was going to say about Jeff, even though he hasn't been to many tournaments in recent years, the thing that keeps him going is he's never lost that competitive edge. Oh, no, absolutely not. No, he... And I was just pulling up his profile on Power's website because I want. I'm trying to see the last time he took uh, a top four.
So I forgot about this. Jeff does have a player of the year title, a power events player of the year title from 2000. 2012. Well, right? Yeah, 2012, he won player of the year. Um, 2011, he took third place Here's in player of the year. Sorry, I'm doing like eight different things right now. Oh, yeah. So, and then look here. Looking at uh, Je the refs or the rest of Jeff's, uh, you know, Power Vic uh, tournaments, you know, obviously he won the tw 2010 Players Charity Championship, and uh, he also won the Windy City Open in 2011, um, the Missouri Open in 2013, and the Chicago Open in 2013. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those things where he doesn't make it out to as many tournaments, but he's still. <laughs> you know, he can still perform. And I think some people forget, you know, how good of a player Jeff is. Um, you know, you might not see him at these tournaments a lot, but he's still playing thousands of games a month. Like, there are probably people watching right now, newer people, that have never seen Jeff Lyman before. They could not pick him out of a lineup. No, absolutely not. But, you know, here's the thing. Um, with Jeff being King of the Hill, he's got some room. You know, he's got some he's got room. But we've, uh, Tony and I touched on this earlier. I call the double dip by Luna. Because, well, and Luna in Florida got double dipped. That's why I called it. Yeah. No, exactly. And, I'm, I'm, yeah. I mean, I've touched on it already, but it'd be a good way to start the year where you get. I mean, Luna still has to finish this and win again, but to have the first two events and have your have back-to-back -back champions both double dipping. Oh yeah, because Fox has won won the last two years in Florida and double dipped Luna this year. That's right. Yeah, I forgot about and last if, year. Uh, Luna were to do it here, it would be the defending champion. That's true. But Tony and I talked about that before you came. Yeah. Can you, uh... No. I just want to... Yep. Okay. Fox, you want to... Oh. Fox, you want to jump on for a second? You want to grab him? I got to take care of something really quick. You want to jump on for me? What am I supposed to do? Just talk. Talk? Talk about you. We'll talk about your buddy. Oh, yeah, my guy, Jeff Landon. Wow, it sounds weird to hear my own voice. I'm working here. I don't think he hit that hard enough. Uh, really. The minute you get too aggressive on that one, it's going to snap off the green. Can you hear me? Mm, good putt there. That is a good putt. Oops. So I think from here on out, Jeff's got a little bit of a chance because uh, Paul plays streaks and those are not ideal for 18 and Jeff's got those uh, barrage barrage yeah. balls. You know he forgot to play. play him. <laughs> he told me that. He's like, what an idiot what an idiot I am. And the thing was he didn't tell me till like the fifth hole. And he, he's like, I'm an idiot. I am playing the wrong balls. Yeah. So if this setup on 18 is downwind, Paul's gonna have a Oh, it's cake. Wow. Well, it's a good setup for streaks. Yeah. Mean, he can he can stop that firewood pretty easily. Yeah. Toast. He's gonna have to make it. He has to make it. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Turn, turn. Yeah. It's a good game by Paul there. Yes, a good comeback after yeah. being down after the first one, yeah. the whole one. I wonder what the difference is if they're going to work out a deal here. Or... Oh, we're going to have $100. Oh. I haven't seen him talk yet. All right, so. It's not Sandhill. It's Beals. Beals? That's Beals. I knew it wasn't Sandhill because it didn't say my name by the worldwide record. <sighs> Lost. That was supposed to be funny. So Jeff was probably happy to see the back box here because I would I would think yeah. that uh, Luna might be a little bit of a better chipper. There's uh, according to Jeff, he's the worst chipper ever. Oh, well, yeah. I, I, he I, also I, says he never holds out, so <laughs> something's got to go. Never holds out. Never chips in. Never points anything. One thing about Jeff is he doesn't ever, well, I shouldn't say it doesn't ever, but extremely rarely does he ever thumb the ball to the right. So it's ever like a, a right to left wind. He won't thumb it. He'll palm it every time because he's just not confident with his thumbs out to the right. Oh, boy. Hmm. No, one thing I haven't seen Jeff do this weekend. I've not seen him. I mean, a lot of people won't know what I'm talking about right now, but I've not seen him hit a hammer 180. Really? Hmm. Well, we know how he almost falls down every time he does it. Yeah, he has a little uh, a mini people, convulsion. He has, I mean, I think that would be good for a live stream. Oh, oh boy. Buckets, buckets. Buckets for Lannon. Paul's amused. I wouldn't rule out this from going yeah. in either. Oh, the push it left. Are y'all waiting to leave? You ready to go? Woo! All right. 
Thank you, Welcome Mr. Back. Fox. Yep, sorry. Was had had people sitting down, almost knocking over lights, and whew. Huh? So Luna, Luna able to uh, tie things up after think, Jeff missed that, that putt right right after the double eagle. That is uh, that's a second or third putt I've seen Jeff miss today. Yeah, you know, uh, it was it Tony and I were talking about this earlier? Jeff is using barrage. Yes. And Luna's using streak, so. Yes. It'll be interesting what happens on 18. What yeah, the, the, the setup on 18 could really, uh, you know, we've got, you know, 12 holes left to go, but still, set, uh, 18 could really be the deciding factor if these guys go neck and neck uh, up until that point. Uh, 17 usually is pretty easy, the, the, the par three, but sometimes, I know in qualifier, there was a tough setup, wasn't there? Uh, or tougher setup on Beals. Tough, like a tougher. Yeah, nothing crazy, but. Yeah, good run. Je yeah, I say Jeff with the thumbs, you know. Now, Luna wishing he kind of hit that a little bit harder, give him some extra room there, but. Oof. Now, Paul, I don't know if you, if you guys caught that, but Paul ended up is technically on the rough there. And I don't yeah. think he can putt that. Uh, I think that's. I think that's. Is it? I See, it. I know one of uh, some of these holes on Beals. It does. It that certain point of the fringe into the rough can really, you know, depending on the down slope, if it's a down slope or, or not. Uh, that was an interesting shot by Jeff. Uh, getting yeah. what they're not, not ideal. Yeah, so Luna's on the heavy rough. Straight down. Okay, so it did come out. I was worried that it wasn't going to... What's up? So I'm being told that uh, they're both actually using barrage. Luna's pink ball, I don't know how Arthur knows this, but is actually a barrage. Okay. Which for those of you, you know, who might just be tuning in now, uh, you know, barrage is kind of in between the grabber and streaks Streak in, uh, in terms of, you know, backspin and distance. Um, but... It makes it a little bit better or, you know, easier to understand knowing both these guys are using yes. that. So they're both going to kind of come across the same uh, discrepancies when yes. it comes to certain setups on 17 and 18. No, no, Jeff hold out and then missed a putt because he watered the last. Yeah. Two, like two holes later. Yeah. The following hole. Yeah, yeah. Two. Luna won the first one. So if, if Luna wins, uh, Jeff Landon will have gotten double dipped and uh, will Luna will be the 2019 Wisconsin yes. Open champion. Um, again, Jeff, uh, a little bit off his game the last couple of holes with some of the shots he's hitting. Um, we've seen, you know, a few people miss close chips out of the rough uh in the last yes. couple of you know third four or fourth and third matches and uh you know stenmark ran into that in some of his matches um thankfully jeff being down two you know was able to make that chip that uh you know there's still seven holes left to play Careful. Get up. Oh, okay. Now, two different interesting shots. Luna going ten and a half high. 
Um, uh, Jeff going eight and a half. Now, thankfully for Jeff, this is a pretty straightforward cool chip. chip. Just down, you know, down chip, nothing crazy. Um, but but Beals is like we like we said, you know, and even mentioned it before when these guys played on it. Beals is one of those courses that, you know, it's one hole can really. <laughs> we saw it with Luna. Yeah. Uh, you know, Luna was up, yeah. and then and then he uh, he messed up a shot, and he, and he was down one. You know, it's anything when it comes to these high profile matches, and you know, the size of the field and the the strong field here at the wisconsin open um, this is a deep field yeah it's a very deep field i know we talked about andy haas lance harris paul taylor a few people a few top 10 guys top 15 guys that aren't here um but there's not too many i mean you've got we had three uh former world champs mark stenmark greg kinsler um evan and then evan uh here so a lot of uh, a lot of strong competition going on all weekend long. You can tell Jeff. I I, I worry that Jeff is starting to get in his own head. You know, now he's down to five holes, knowing he's got a hole out once or twice, uh, or hope that Luna makes a mistake. I mean, Jeff's at the point where he's got to make something happen. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Jeff has 60,000 great shot points, and he's down two strokes. I mean, it's crazy. Well, it's that one shot he hit on eight, that's what it is. One, one bad shot. Yeah. Gotta make this chip. Now I think this is where Jeff's um, lack of tournament appearances over the last few years kind of hurts him. Right now, you know, because Luna goes to almost every single one of these tournaments. He's he's you know qualifying top five almost all the time. He's playing Sally Golden Tee. I don't know of too many tournaments offhand that he hasn't been top four right. or top eight. Um, you know, and Jeff comes to the World Championship every year in, in Vegas and the Wisconsin Open. Uh, so he doesn't get that, you know, that type of experience. You know, playing at home, uh, playing at your home bar, your home base, playing with a couple buddies, playing games by yourself, completely different atmosphere than actually Absolutely. going to a tournament. And again, like we talked about before, you know, that uh, the high profile you know, huge, deep field of Wisconsin, you know, just adds to that. Luna's used to these types of situations. Jeff really isn't. Now look at that. Luna just, you know, <laughs> knows this course so well. He's, you know, almost ready to just lock his tee yeah, in and was. just hit it without even checking the trees and, and any, everything. So <clears throat> Luna's kind of already dialed in and as you, you know, not an awful, you know, not a great putt, but nothing, you know, unbeknownst to him. He's hit all those, you know, all weekend long. Yeah, and this is a pretty straightforward pretty look. Straightforward. Oh, oh, wow. Luna adding insult to injury. injury. Yes. You know, up three strokes and ace his whole 17 to make it a four stroke, potentially a four stroke lead. Oh, and Jeff with that five hybrid just right there, almost at it.
now, uh, you know, there is a, there's, you know, it's tough, you know, being in these situations going to 18. Um, you know, especially for somebody like Jeff, you know, it's kind of hard to, uh, you gotta, you gotta play it out, but you, you know, <laughs> you know, there's four. Yeah, so, you know, with Eagle putt, a couple of bad shots on Sandhill uh, for Jeff. Uh, you know, it, it's always tough when you're the king of the hill and, you know, lose twice nice. to, to take second place. Second place is nothing to sneeze at, but, uh, you know, when you play so well in a, a field that's so strong, just to, you know, lose your first two matches in the finals and, and take second place, it's tough. Um, we talked about this earlier, you know, a few of us, Luna, uh, on his game this week. Yeah, he had one bad round. Was when they the King of the Hill match was playing mm -hmm. Jeff. Yeah, and now I mean tables completely turned, and now you know Jeff having his bad rounds in the finals, and you know, again second place nothing to see no. that especially for Jeff who does not come to to many of these tournaments with family and and you know all kinds of stuff going on, uh, you know makes it tough to travel to some of these tournaments for some of these guys. Uh, and Luna's going to all these tournaments. Um, and getting that experience and, you know, obviously playing the thousands of games he does a month. So, you know, Paul Luna wins the uh, the 2019 Wisconsin Open, minus 30 to 26. Uh, Jeff Lannon taking second Wisconsin Open champion. So, Wes, any, uh, any parting uh, words? I just like the way we started the year. Hey, I'm glad he's not wearing his thong. <laughs>